Whether you've been concealed carrying for a long time or you're very new to concealed carry, well, printing is always on the mind. Before you get too frustrated and to avoid this. Honey, there's someone I want to introduce you to. He's the kindest, gentlest man I've ever met. Will you meet him? Sure. He's got a gun! You need to try these three things. Number one, get the right belt. An often overlooked aspect of everyday carry is having the correct belt. I made this mistake when I first started carrying until I discovered there are dedicated everyday carry belts. These belts offer more rigid backbone, easier quick adjustments when it comes to loosening and tightening the belt. Why is this important? Because if you slap a five pound gun on any old leather belt, well, it's gonna be unbalanced, it's gonna be uncomfortable, and you're gonna have to deal with printing. Now, one of these dedicated everyday carry belts will have a more rigid backbone, quick adjustments, and just make for an overall comfortable carry experience and ultimately helping you with the printing issue. Number two. Get yourself a holster with a claw. No, not one of those. This claw. You see, the purpose of a claw is to push against your belt, putting tension against your belt and the holster, which in turn pushes the handle of the gun back into your belly. Let me show you an example of how this works. Claw, no claw. Claw, no claw. So as you can see, having a claw on your holster makes a significant difference when it comes to printing. Now, if your holster did not come with a claw, my suggestion would be to go to your holster maker's website, see if they have an add-on uh, that you could put onto your holster, an add-on kit for the claw. If they do not, you can check Amazon, see if they have a universal claw that will fit with your holster. Number three, use a wedge. Hold on one sec. Let me show you what that is. Yeah, here we go. This is a wedge. So what is the wedge? Basically, it's the same thing as a claw, just works in reverse. So think of, uh, instead of pushing against your belt, the wedge is pushing against your body, driving the handle of the gun back into your belly. I know it sounds confusing, but it's really simple. Just exactly as the claw works, just in reverse. Instead of pushing against your belt, it's pushing against your body. Now, most manufacturers will have an add-on option for the wedge, like the tier one holster you've seen in that video. However, if it does not have that option for you, you could always go onto Amazon and find a universal wedge, slap it onto your holster, and help with the printing problem. If you made it this far into the video, then you are worthy of the bonus tips. I can't believe it. What is it? A letter confirming your reservation at the nut house? It's from my company. Your bonus. My bonus. The busier the shirt, the better. The more patterns your shirt has on it, be conscious of the color of your shirt you're wearing, really can do a good job at hiding any kind of issues left over with printing. Another thing you can do is make sure you adjust your ride height correctly to your body style, to your draw style, and your position of your firearm. Finally, if you are interested in the holster that I've shown in this video, the tier one concealment holster, comes with the claw and you can add on the wedge, my suggestion would be to check out the link in this video where I share my thoughts on the tier one holsters. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Make sure to check out the Lone Star Republic merch store. Catch you on the next one.